Hey guys, welcome back to the Debate Heart. Today we're discussing our thoughts on rebooting the MCU. Do we like the idea of rebooting it? And I guess we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of rebooting. So we had heard about this potentially happening before, like quite a while back. But there have been some recent reports, so we're going to give you guys our opinion on the MCU being rebooted. But before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on whether you're for or against the MCU reboot. So the rumor is that the MCU will be rebooted after Avengers Secret Wars. So, I mean, we've we've heard of the word incursions quite a few, like, I think, I, I don't know how many times we've heard it, but we've heard it <laughs> definitely in phase four. And we're starting to really see the impact like certain events are having on the multiverse. So after Secret Wars, the multiverse will probably be damaged. So they'll try to repair it and maybe there'll be issues with this. Perhaps they can't completely restore it or something. And so maybe we'll get a new timeline and our MCU will focus on that timeline. So that is what people are thinking might happen is like what, what they might do. So like a soft reboot so what they can basically do from this like they can start from the beginning so you know all these iconic characters that we've grown and loved so far like iron man captain america thor you name like you know the main the main six like all of them you know we'd get new people because all those characters that we've grown to love wouldn't exist in that timeline but of course there could be, you know, maybe a complete reboot. So they completely just drop this and they just, you know, just start fresh. So, yeah, that is pretty much what people are thinking is going to happen. So I guess let's just start off with, like, our opinion on what we think. And then we'll talk about, like, the advantages and disadvantages of it. Hmm. So, yeah. Grace, what's your initial thoughts? I think it sounds pretty pointless in a way <laughs> i'm not trying to be rude but like like if you're gonna reboot or like bring in new characters you might as well just bring them like in the original timeline like there's no point of trying to say after secret wars there's gonna be like a new timeline happening and we're gonna show new characters and stuff i'm like well you could just show the new characters after secret wars or something or just continue because I understand. Maybe they're trying to finish the MCU, like the official original MCU with like Secret Wars or um Kang Dynasty or something like in phase five and phase six. But I mean you might as well do like a little spin-off or something. And they're not just trying to reboot everything. It's just I don't know, the word reboot kind of sounds like you're trying to improve the original but the original is already great like we got iron man was great Captain america was okay thor was good and then we had hulk and then we had the avengers which is pretty pretty amazing so i don't know how you can reboot reboot all that so so much history huh yeah there was so much history i mean you can't bury you can't bury history history just comes out and we see it again and again and we wouldn't have Secret Wars if it wasn't for Phase One and all the in the beginning. So, yeah, it, I don't know. I just don't. I, I can't really see um, the right advantage for this. Like, I can't see the right moral for this. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. No, I I agree. I mean, I if there's one thing people know about me is that I completely hate change, and we all I know. <laughs> And I've grown up, like, loving all of these movies and now these shows as well and, like, you know, completely getting obsessed over them, like, getting, you know, like, hearing about all these little things, like, all these theories and stuff. And then to think that we're going to close the book of the MCU after Secret Wars and we're going to start afresh is really upsetting. But I Mm. do see the positives as well, but I feel like there could be maybe a different way they could approach it. I mean, it's not. It's not even going to be called the MCU. They can't call it the MCU. They yeah. can't. They have. They have to come up with a new name because the MCU has to stay yeah. the MCU from Phase One all the way to Phase Six, ending with Secret Wars, starting with Iron Man. Like that is mm. the MCU. We get into the advantages. So I guess one of them is that 
And the main six are sort of gone. I mean, apart from Thorns, apart from Hulk, Hulk, really, I don't know. And That's Hawkeye. a different argument. Yeah. So we've, you know, Iron Man was such an iconic character. Captain America gone. I mean, I know um, we've got our new Captain America, but it's still not the same for some people. Mm. And so the idea is that when they reboot this and, you know, go into a new timeline, new actors and actresses can take on the roles like that we lost our phase three. So like, you know, Iron Man and Captain America. And so we could get, you know, we could we could get those characters back and someone else could play them, someone who's, you know, actually happy to take on those roles and we can go different routes with comic stories and stuff do things that they weren't able to do before perhaps they could bring in the x-men characters and there could be like you know overlap between iron man and the x-men characters or spider-man and the x-men characters or something like that you know they'll bring in like you know iron man and stuff all those characters that we didn't that you might we didn't get enough of or they you know we didn't explore their full potential and like you know because there's tons of com- comic stories so there's tons of different stuff that they could go through with these characters and so they'd get to start off in a clean slate and like you know work on different comic stories different relationships different stuff like like see a different side to these characters basically okay i can slightly understand that but the only thing i could i i think that not exactly. This didn't really happen, like live action. But I remember, like, there's a animated show called like Ultra Spider Man, which is basically based on Spider Man, not MCU Spider Man, but it has like some characters, like not all from the MCU, but basically all the Marvel characters, like they had gone into the Galaxy Avengers. Um, I think, uh, in humans as well. So, I I can understand that if they're trying to, like, make up stories and just trying to try different offenses with different characters but i don't know i can see it's like a little like what if animation show or but i can't see if live action if that makes sense i mean i do get it because you know i actually do agree like we should get we need to bring in new um new fresh actors new blood and um show off the talent I don't know. Then you like if you're gonna try to do a reboot of the Avengers, then you might as well do like a live action of the animated show Avengers Assemble because like they did a lot of like like stuff, and you could put them in films maybe. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm just I'm I'm really mixed about this. I don't know how to describe it. I just I feel like I do agree, but I'm not fully on board. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm the same. So I'll I'll go through a few more of the advantages. So everything from phase six and before that, like that would still be a part of the history of it. So, but the only thing is that they'll be part of a different timeline. So, you know how we're seeing, you know, Loki is like in a different timeline or even like Wanda, you know, from 838 is Mm. in a different timeline to us. Like it'd be something like that. So they'll still be, they wouldn't be forgotten. They'd still be like of value and stuff and perhaps in like certain movies and stuff there would be crossovers and stuff maybe we could bring in you know um i don't know the and like an iron man play by rdj back into this timeline of the rebooted another one is that the x-men can be brought in so we could focus you know they're, they're a big part of marvel's history so we haven't really seen them yet and i'm not talking about all the mutants that they've sort of dropped here and there and you know we haven't really had much focus on them but what they could do is like in this rebooted one, they could bring in the X-Men. They could focus on them for the first phase, maybe a few, and then they could start bringing in some new other characters. Like they could bring in some of the Avengers characters. Maybe they could bring in the Inhumans, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, you know, they could, you know, sort of merge it all in, like Spider-Man and all that stuff. So that's another one. And one of the biggest advantages, I think, that maybe it, like Marvel are probably thinking like this is why it probably is going to be a good idea is that you know the MCU is having quite a few problems at the moment loads of people aren't like you know liking the recent projects especially like you know after the loss of the main characters like that's what they're that's what people are saying like you know nothing's been the same after our loss of Iron Man after losing Captain America so this could be a way to like get these people back and interested in Marvel stuff by bringing Mm -hmm. in different actors or actresses playing these characters that you know that audiences like grew to love so much over phase one to three 
and actually just you know being reintroducing these characters to them and so they get to see a different version of them i can understand that although i have been hearing stuff about like some of the actors are quite tired of playing the same role in the mcu Mm -hmm. so maybe they have enough and maybe someone else wants to take their Mm -hmm. place so i can understand that um but it's it's just gonna be quite hard seeing a new face replacing someone that you've known for for years, like Iron Man, Thor, Captain America. I mean, who can replace them? Besides, some people would say like Tom Cruise for Iron Man, or I don't know. <laughs> the problem is like if you got if they got problems because we we talked about this in one of our videos, um, I think last year about all the issues Phase Four had, and. I just think Marvel just needs to just need some fresh eyes and look back at the work they're doing and just think, is it worth it? Like what they need to do, like if it's good or what's not good that they just, oh God, I feel like this is, should have been a debate we should have talked about. <laughs> like, it's I mean, really it's not too not. late. We, we could do that as well. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see that, <laughs> hit the like button and leave us a comment down yeah. below if you want to see that. I was thinking now, if they were going to do a reboot, I would love to see like Venom and Spider Man actually fighting again because I don't know. I think they'll be very good, very good characters, like very good characters bash out and fight. Um, Deadpool as well. I mean, that would be cool. Deadpool versus Venom, who will be interesting to see who wins. Um, who else? Yeah, we could get like new characters involve as well because i know like in what if they invent they actually created a new character in season two so like they might bring that character into the repo so then yeah, that would be quite interesting actually yeah i'm still not sure which side of the grass is greener but <laughs> yeah i mean it's a it's a high risk it's a risky um opportunity for Marv for well for the in film industry to take this opportunity for Marvel. Like if they are gonna stop after Secret Wars and they're gonna do the whole thing again. I mean, we were kind of well, we basically know that we basically know the story of them, so unless they change it up a bit, that would be interesting. But if they do do it, they have to, I don't know, spice up the stories or actually follow the comics, like make um, Wanda and Pietro the actual children of uh, Magneto. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this. It does sound like a great idea, and I would like to see more stories of the, of the same characters with different adventures. But we just have to think... Is it respectful enough to do it, or is it worth worth mm-hmm. it in a way? Yeah, to redo everything Marvel has done in the last couple of years. Couple of years, <laughs> it's been oh, over a decade. It's two thousand and eight. Oh wow! But you know, the idea has probably started before that. So who knows when this mm. all actually starts? But you know. Mm. So yeah, um, I've given you my advantages, I'll give you my disadvantages now, which you've already done some of them. <laughs> so one of the ones that I was thinking of that I didn't really actually see anybody mention, but there is obviously, you know, there's going to be comparisons between the new actors and the actresses to the old ones. Like, you know, comparing RDJ to whoever the new Iron Man actor would be. Mm. Like, can, and, you know, the question is, can they ever beat the original like that's always what everybody's thinking. Like you know when we saw that with Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Andrew Garfield, yeah. Tom Holland. It's a it's the same well, thing like that. Yeah, but that but that's a good thing because like in Tobey Maguire's, he just put Spider Man. For Andrew Garfield, he put the Amazing Spider Man. So they were trying to focus more on the comic. For Tom Holland, they tried to link a bit more with the um, MCU and a bit of the comics. So it's all very different. If they're gonna reboot, like say Iron Man. I mean, I don't know, because we see it as an adult. I, I, maybe they did it like as a young teenager. Maybe, maybe he's trying to um, um, walk up his way through his business, like 
like maybe do it straight after his parents' death and he's he has no idea what to do and he's just found out he's the owner of his father's business and just he's trying to work out a way he fits in the world. That's that's be the perfect story. Um I'm just Captain... thinking it'll be sort of like what we what we heard about, you know, when they were thinking about recasting Chadwick Boseman, you know, when we were having that debate and stuff. We yeah, one yeah. of the points I remember I I was saying was that can they ever find someone who could play up to that same potential and like give us the same Black Panther that we had from Chadwick Boseman? Yeah. I know like for some of these characters it's definitely not like our, like Robert Downey Jr. is like he's known as Iron Man. Like when you when you mm-hmm. say Robert Downey Jr., the first thing that comes to mind is Iron it's Man. Iron Man. So yeah. you're gonna have to find someone who, you know, is just is just gonna be able to give us this whole new take on Iron Man. And that's all response and like you know the script writers and the the whole people the creative people are like all gonna have mm. to you know i don't think anyone can live up to the originals because like i can't imagine anyone could do a better black widow than scarlett johansson or chris hensworth as thor or loki i mean who can beat tom hiddleston as loki he's like he's got the he's got the best performance for a villain he's cunning evil he's got everything <laughs> um so, yeah, I, I, it's hard to live up to that. My second disadvantage is like, what about all of these other characters we just got introduced to? So if we, are, if they are going to reboot it after Secret Wars, then what about Black Knight? We've barely even seen him. What about Lamont Namor? What about Hercules? What about Wonder Man? Silver Surfer, Galactus, Werewolf by Night, Moon Knight, Mephisto, Adam Warlock. These are characters that, you know, we've heard are joining already in the MCU and we've barely really got to even see them. So they've introduced all of these amazing characters and then by Secret Wars, they're like, they're out gone. of here. They're, they're gone. Unless if they do bring them into the new timeline. But then it just... And then I guess then the other thing... Remember, like, who is, has rights to what? It's... Yeah, exactly. And it's also like, oh, why couldn't you bring in this character? Like, they played, oh, for example like charlie cox so why can't you bring in charlie cox into that who plays daredevil like he played daredevil really good why isn't he in a new timeline or maybe like you know um let's see who else <laughs> i can't think of any other actors yeah if we bring in like she hulk and jessica jones or um iron fist with chang chi or hercules with luke cage or like so many different characters it's... and also the one i was thinking about fantastic four we're going to be introduced to them in phase six phase six which is when secret wars is as well so we barely won't get any time with them and then boom they're gone <laughs> so it doesn't it doesn't you know necessarily it doesn't really make sense for the for marvel to do that unless they're just you know these characters or fantastic four are gonna move into this timeline and stuff like they accidentally, you know, like the whole Deadpool, you know, sort of um, I feel plot like... leak, leak that I talked about. Like maybe they could do something like that, you know. The Fantastic yeah. Four end up joining into that timeline or something. Yeah. I feel like if they're doing it last, I feel like there could be like their own, like their own kind of universe where you know, like um, where is it? Was a werewolf? Werewolf? The film? That's what it's called. Was it? Oh, Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night, yeah, or like Moon Knight, like they all kind of have like their own universe in a way, mm-hmm. and they're all gonna blend in, and we're probably not gonna see them for a while, to be honest. So, if we do get a reboot, they might use the same actors again because they have been in the MCU for much compared to the original actors who were from the beginning. So. So my other one is that it's it's just going to be too soon after the MCU has ended, perhaps. Like, um, but we don't have a timeline of when they'll do this reboot. But like, if they were to do it, like, I don't know, five years later, like, it's just too soon. Like, if they are going to do it, I think they're going to have to wait, like, 20 years or something, just to it's just so it's based out and, like, it just doesn't feel like it's too much and it's just being overcrowded and stuff. And also something that Grace talked about originally is, like, you know, everything we've watched, has no meaning like it was a waste and you know it and it's just starting again so what was the point of watching the whole mcu like go from phase one to phase six starting with iron man ending with secret wars like what was the point if they were just gonna 
reboot it and just start again like what was the point of like keeping up with everything what was the point like of course we all enjoyed stuff we enjoyed getting to see these characters we enjoyed getting to see these relationships we got to enjoyed getting to see these stories play on itself but what was the point <laughs> like you know <laughs> and then also the last one that I could think of was like the same thing could happen again Like, there are only so many characters they can include in a project and, you know, in movies and shows. Like, you know, Endgame, like, there was so many different characters, but there's only so much that they can really realistically include in a show or a movie, which, you know, we've seen in Phase 4 because we've had, like, characters just pop out of nowhere. We've had so many different characters and we haven't really seen them again yet, which, you know, so... The same thing could happen again, you know. They could, they could, you know, tire out Iron Man, and then, you know, all of a sudden we're back to having to reboot because, you yeah. know, we've he's died again or something. Like, you know? oh god, that'd be awful. I couldn't, I couldn't live with that. Or Gamora, or a Black Widow, or Yondu. That would be awful. It would be all awful. Um, actually, I was thinking of something else. Um, this was mentioned. Um, the um the destruction of AI because like we we know that a like lots of people in the industry have been using it for like the intro for um secret invasion. I've also heard like some people using it on older actors to make them look younger. So, you know, like um Indiana Jones um Dark Destiny then made Harrison Ford look a bit younger younger for some scenes. I feel like if they're gonna do a reboot. I can't, I, like, it might, I hope this won't happen, but I've got, like, a slight fear they're going to maybe bring back some old, old, like, the original actors and maybe trying to, um, the age, their faces, to make them look younger, to make them look like their, their first appearance of the MCU characters. And that would be, that would be sort of the wound, to be honest, because I feel like you're not giving other actors a chance to to show off their talent. And you're just... I feel like CGI is being overrated and overused and it's not being done properly. Again, that was one of the issues for Phase 4. And, yeah, like CGI is just not being um, properly um, used. So, yeah, that's also... An, so yeah but overall it does sound like a good idea but they have to think really carefully about this because when you said Emily that five years is too soon and I do agree but I feel like if they do it like 20 years and they want to bring like some of the actors in to 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 um, continue their roles Imagine the actor for Moonlight, Moon Knight. Sorry, he'd be he'd be much older. So I feel like yeah. I don't know. I feel like they should do it soon, but I feel like it has to. There has to be a right moment for it. I don't know how to explain that because there has there has to be. I don't know. There has to be a right purpose for it, and like they can't just like drop it in the day after Secret Wars. They have to make sure it's mm-hmm. properly um properly dated and yeah, properly they need, they need to take that same consideration that they had for when they built up phase one to phase three. Like exactly. you know, carefully planning every single thing, like looking at the different links and stuff. It all has to play out properly. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling mixed, to be honest. I, yeah, I can I'm I can see both too. sides. <laughs> yeah, me too. But like, the person who absolutely loves the MCU and is like growing up watching it, like I absolutely and I'm heartbroken at the thought that they're gonna reboot it. Like it's very mm-hmm. it's very upsetting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel like this reboot it feels like it's they're just gonna dance on the MCU's funeral like grave and like just gonna try to do something weird about it or not weird but like just out of this world sort of thing and they have to tread carefully with it I'm like like they can't overthink this they have to calculate this properly and 
with concern and with respect. That's all I can say. That's all the news we heard today from um, from this reboot for after MCU. So, guys, if you have any thoughts on this reboot, do you think it could be a good idea, or do you think it's going to be a horrible idea, or are you in a mix like me and Emily? Leave us down your thoughts in the comments down below. We would love to hear them, and we would love to chat with you about them. Uh, but before you leave, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. Um, and check out our other videos. Again, we've mentioned that we, before we've done like the based such as um, should Marvel have all the rights for like Spider-Man and everything? Or um, which Spider-Man do you think is the best? Emily says Toby Maguire. I say Tom Holland. And some people may say Andrew Garfield. Let, let us check them all out, guys. They're really good. And we also done Marvel reviews on films, TV shows. We also done... Um, Disney as well. We also done so many guys. Just check them out, and you can check out our social accounts. We got Instagram and Twitter. If you follow us, we will definitely follow you back. And um, you can check out our website. Tell us information about us, the whole team, and some of our videos we've done over the past few years. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.